Okay, One Piece chapter 937 happened and we received some more information or I suppose you can call it confirmation on some of the things we knew or theorized about hockey. Hockey is usually such a cumbersome topic just because it's all over the place, literally. Typically when something different or weird happens in the verse, one assumes it's hockey but you can never really be sure. Ashra and Diablo Jambe should be hockey but they're never really categorized as such. And Red Hawk should be hockey, but it's never really explained in that way. The explanation we received of hockey is fairly simple. Before Luffy's training, Onrus Kaina really gave a detailed breakdown of what hockey is. He described it as a power that lies dormant in people everywhere. The ability to sense spiritual energy and overpower enemies. He goes on to explain how most hockey can be divided into two categories. The color of observation, which is the power to acutely sense an opponent, and the color of arms, which is like an invisible suit of armor. The color of arms is then stated to be the only countermeasure against Devil Fruit users other than attacking their weak points. Obviously, there is a third form of hockey, which is the power to overwhelm, or as Rayleigh states, the color of the Supreme King. Most people who has made a name for themselves possess the power, and it cannot directly be trained. It is the embodiment of the spirit of the user, and the only way to make it stronger is to grow stronger yourself. A key part that isn't talked about frequently, and I suppose this series doesn't really highlight it as much, is when it was saying that most people are only adept at a few things. They gravitate towards the color they're best at. Training all of them gives you even greater potential, but the point remains everyone has a specialty. The only time I can think of this even being spoken about was Zoro and Sanji, in which Zoro, who is a ferocious animal gravitating to the color of arms, while Sanji being the ultimate technician being more adept at the color of observation. Okay, so pop quiz. Which color do you think Luffy gravitated towards? Leave your comments below. So now we have a basic explanation of what hockey is, but we want to know everything there is to know about advanced hockey. I suppose we should start with Haushoku hockey or the color of the Supreme King, since this is the color we know the least about. There have been numerous uses of this color and the first time using the canon story was in chapter 1, Shanks and the Sea King while saving Luffy or after saving Luffy. Of course, at the time we weren't sure what it was, but with his spirit, he overwhelmed his opponent. As we've gone through the story, we have seen several demonstrations of this color, but the most advanced we have seen so far goes to Shanks in chapter 434 when he arrived on Whitebeard's ship. Shanks' hockey was so powerful it not only knocked out the weak-willed members of the crew, but it was actually damaging parts of Whitebeard's ship. Other than anime aesthetic, this is the most advanced we have seen the color of the Supreme King used so far. Regardless, it's somewhat underwhelming. I can say personally, I was expecting a bit more from this color. Luffy has used this color several times and you keep waiting for it to impact a strong enemy in some way, but it really hasn't done much of that. Of course, there is a reaction or shock wave when two quote unquote King's Clash is shown versus Doflamingo and Katakuri, but that is about it. Luffy's usage can be viewed as an advanced form as well by using it to tame various animals, most recently seen in Wano, but also using it while being unconscious, also seen in Wano. This color is normally reserved for those possessing the qualities of a king and most we have seen have shown as such. There are unique instances that may be viewed as unconscious usage of this color such as Luffy's ability to draw people to him and Boa Hancock's and Cavendish's beauty that overwhelms others. The canon users of this color or confirmed by Vivid cards are Shanks, Rayleigh, Hancock, Luffy, Whitebeard, Ace, Doflamingo, Don Chin, Zhao, Big Mom, Katakuri, Odin, Kid, and Sengoku. One can assume Kaido can and Roger was able to as well. Quick side note, and this goes back to the guys who were knocked out by Shanks on Whitebeard's crew. Imagine being up for a promotion, then everyone finds out you have weak will when an opposing Yonko pulls up. Damn. Anyway, on to Kenmon Shokuhaki or the color of observation, which is the ability to acutely sense an opponent. That's what it's described as. <laughs> This is a bit light based on what we now know about observation hockey and the sheer extent of this power. It's also important to point out in Skypiea this is called mantra and so they are essentially the same thing. The first official instance of this being used was in Skypiea, however I take it way back to Serb Village and Luffy vs Captain Kuro. I believe my theory was confirmed after really gave a breakdown of the type of color of observation user Luffy was which was seemingly more sensory than visual 
like Katakuri. Regardless versus Captain Kuro, there were several instances of high speed movement and dodging on the part of Captain Kuro that could imply he had an idea of hockey and could use it. There's even a panel of Kuro making Luffy bleed with a blunt attack and Luffy actually pointing it out. This could be the first instance of the color of arms. In that battle, while Kuro is using his technique Shakushi, which was confirmed to be on par with Soru, Luffy was able to sense where he was and grab him. Nonetheless, the color of observation has advanced techniques galore which were there even before Whole Cake Island. I suppose this is a variant, but Enel combining this color with his devil fruit to overhear conversations by picking up electromagnetic waves in the air. Another example is Usopp and Fujitora's use of observation hockey. Fujitora, while being blind, can see through the use of haki by seeing moving auras throughout the body, and Usopp did something similar to attack Sugar. Fujitora could also sense the feelings as shown by his reaction to Luffy's compassion, as well as knowing the intent of the people of Dressrosa. The truly advanced observation haki, we can say, came from Rayleigh and Katakuri. Rayleigh was able to sense not only how many animals were on Raskaina, but was able to pinpoint just how many were stronger than Luffy. Charlotte Katakuri had mastered hockey to the point in which he could literally see into the future. Luffy started unlocking parts of this advanced hockey versus Katakuri, but like I stated, it wasn't necessarily visual, but he could then sense where his opponent would be to react. Observation hockey is what I like to call a broken system due to the usage of it. With several situations, you question when it should be and when it should not be used. One recent instance is King against the Big Mom Pirates when he surprised an actual Yonkor and her crew. However, this could be an indication that someone like Big Mom specializes in the color of arms as opposed to observation as shown by how easily she brushed off gear 4. The users of this type are just too numerous to mention. Now let's talk about Busoshoku Haki or the color of arms which is the hot topic this week due to the recent chapter and adds to the Rayleigh wank. Okay, let me say this. I view Rayleigh a lot differently than most, but I think this guy is phenomenal. The thing is, this did not change how I felt about him in the slightest because that's what I expect. Confirmations are great in the story, especially after so much theorizing as to what something might be. One Piece chapter 937 confirmed our suspicions that the hockey technique that we saw really use at the first demonstration of hockey in Raskaina to be an advanced technique. The interesting part about the confirmation is that we've seen similar instances of this used previously in the story. The first instance we can point out that was somewhat similar is Sentamaru in the Sabori Archipelago. He does a similar open palm strike called Sumo Strike, which managed to hurt Luffy without even touching him. I'll also talk about something interesting he says a bit later to add some more context to this form of hockey. We actually saw it again in Marine Ford after Whitebeard went crazy using Heaven on Earth and attempted to destroy the platform that held Ace. The three admirals use this color to prevent the platform from being destroyed. This application of the color of arms, while most is citing it as an advanced form, which it is, differs from the hardening application. Based on the story and how these different forms have been used, this application is of the defensive variety, while hardening is more so used for offensive purposes. Going back to the interesting tidbit about what Sentamaru says, he calls himself the most defensive man in the world, which to me implies that the hockey he uses is mainly for defense. Again, the admirals used it for defense and rarely used it to defend against an attack. This defensive application would absolutely deflect attacks from Devil Fruit users whose powers offer collateral damage, such as Akainu, Aokiji, Magellan, etc. This is another confirmation to the conversation about fighting a user and using Harden to protect yourself. Would you still be hurt? Using this defensive application of Haki would protect you and if powerful enough can generate force to hurt the attacker. This form of the color of arms is the best representation of the beer bones explanation of the color, which is using your spirit to create an invisible armor around themselves. Armament hardening is also used for defensive purposes, but is used much more as an offensive technique. There are advanced applications of even hardening, which revolves around applying the application to weapons as shown by Virgo or your entire body. This is also shown by Virgo and also by Pika. This application, while aesthetically is intimidating, did not yield a great results for either individual and even outside the canon story when used by Bondi World. Armament hardening seems to be the go-to for most offensive attacks and techniques in the new world as we've seen by Smoker, Doflamingo, etc. Everyone goes to this form when they're going into battle. Katakuri vs Luffy also showed other levels to the color of armament which was Katakuri's edged mochi which after they clashed left Luffy's fist which was also imbued with hockey throbbing. This more than likely is amplified by his devil fruit which Luffy has shown some semblance of but still it is an advanced form of armament. Luffy's advanced usage would be combining his hockey with his devil fruit using gear forth which leaves his body rubbery but still strong. Nonetheless we are still getting information on this power and things are starting to make more sense. Haki, while not being fully fleshed out, is an amazing power system, which created a balance that seemingly wasn't there pre-timeskip. The Logia seemed a bit too overpowered, but now, 
Not so much, other than Blackbeard, perhaps. The users of this type are also too numerous to mention. So guys, that's about it on advanced hockey. There's nothing else I can really point to that shows us as advanced hockey. There are other moments that we could look at, but I feel like everything I've talked about here covers everything that we've seen so far. If there's another moment of advanced hockey that I did not cover today, please leave in the comment section down below and I'll see if I can make a different video on it. As usual, let me know how you feel about this video. Leave your feedback. Make sure to like, subscribe if you're here for the first time. I appreciate it. Shout out again to all my patrons. I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.